Hello friends, welcome or welcome back to Shadow Play Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here today, friends. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Make yourselves at home. There's plenty of content to catch up on. And if you're returning, well, friends, I tell you all the time. I tell you almost every day, every day that I'm here. I'm so appreciative of you. Thank you so much for coming back and spending more of your precious time with me here on our channel. If you like my readings, if they resonate, make sure to give them a little thumbs up. It helps me connect to your energy better um, for future pick a card readings when you subscribe as well. So if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. And for anyone that is interested, I do offer private readings, um, but please know the only way to book a reading with me is by visiting the link that's up on your screen, shadowplaycollective.com. It's super easy to book. If you have any questions before, um, before you book and you want to reach out to me, go ahead and reach me through that email that's listed on the site. And I would love to, to talk to you. Um, all right, so let's get into it. Today, we're going to be looking into how does your crush feel about you? So we're going to be looking into this person, their thoughts and their feelings towards you. And yeah, just gathering as much information as we can for you, my friends. But as always, this is a collective reading on YouTube. So please only take what resonates and leave the rest for someone else. Um, if something is confusing you, or if it just doesn't sound like it's for you, if it doesn't make sense, it's probably because it's not your story. So, uh, yeah, let's get to it. As always three groups to choose from. We have group number one, group number two, and group number three. When you are ready, I'll meet you at your reading. Hello, my group number ones. If you pick the sticker, then welcome to your reading friends. Today, we're going to be looking into your crush. So the person you came to this reading for, how are they feeling? What's their thoughts and energy towards you? We're just going to be going with it, friends, and seeing what comes through, trying to get as much information for you as possible, just to kind of help you gain clarity into this situation and into this connection that you have with this person. All right, my group number ones, let's begin. You know, I'm going to remind you that this is a collective reading on YouTube. So please only take what resonates and leave the rest for somebody else. If something is confusing you or triggering you or just doesn't make sense, it's probably not your story and that's okay. All right, let's get to it. Group number ones. Thank you, Spirit, for allowing me to channel these messages today for my group number ones. My group number ones, please. The person they came to this reading for, their crush. What can you tell us? What's this person's thoughts, feelings, and energy towards my group number ones? What is this person, my group number one's crush, please? What are their feelings towards my group number one? What's their energy and thoughts? What can you tell us? Messages for my group number ones, please. What can you tell us? Thank you, Spirit. What can you tell us? My group number ones. All right. So... Um, some of them might be ignoring some kind of truth or bringing more balance to the situation. Maybe they feel like something isn't fair and they're just taking their time. They are very, they're like detached right now or just in this energy of maybe they're ignoring and they're like, I'll get, for some reason, it's almost like I'll get to it when I get to it, meaning they're just taking their time and they, they're not taking an opportunity right now or they're choosing, they're like maybe viewing it as a missed opportunity, but either way, there's like a planning of, of returning back to this or readdressing this. Now, if it's the fact that you guys are kind of flirting or there's this obvious connection there, it's almost like they're trying to ignore it and they're like, uh, time will tell. Because it just feels like they might be ignoring the obvious or something like that. We have Scorpio energy coming through with that tower. Oh, yeah, because they're into you. That's why. So I don't know. Maybe they feel rejected by you or they're just ignoring their own feelings because it seems like they feel like they can't speak on it. Oh, they've been feeling like this for a while. So this person's been into you for a while. And they haven't given up. Things are moving pretty slowly. And the Ace of Pentacles. Why the Eight of Cups in reverse? 
or the tower. Or the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So they're planning. Here's the thing. They they're planning a like a big return. Like they're they're planning to just really shake things up here with you and really bring things to I, I can't tell if you guys are in disconnect. It almost feels like you guys might be in disconnect. Either that or maybe you're not they're not as close to you as they'd like to be. Let's put it that way. Because it feels like they have a plan to change that, but they're taking their time with it. They might be, it feels like I said, this is something that they've kind of been dealing with for a while. I feel like their emotions for you is something that they've been kind of carrying around and they definitely haven't been open about that or there hasn't been, no, I think there has been an opportunity. I was going to say, or there hasn't been an opportunity, but I think there has been. But maybe they felt that when the time came, they weren't getting much from you either because there is an energy here of uncertainty. And it's kind of pained them that it's been so long or that, it, that there's, there's still a ways to go. I don't know. It just feels like things here have been moving very slowly. Um, they're holding back for some reason. Again, this four of pentacles, it's like someone here is ignoring this. And I do think that they try to ignore their feelings, but it's kind of been happening for so long. And it's almost like right now they're kind of viewing their options and they're thinking about how coming back towards you or how coming together with you is going to change everything. We have Scorpio. I think I already said that. Scorpio, Libra, Leo. Coming through the strongest, we also have um, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and water signs. All right, let's see what else. Timing. Yeah, there's something about timing that they're very clear on. But they haven't taken their it's like even though it's like they haven't taken their eyes off you or it's like they haven't taken their sights off of you all right well if you were wondering what's going on with this person if they're interested they're definitely interested and i would say that they're somewhat plotting <laughs> all right my group number ones let's see what else can oh, thank you spirit for these messages for my group number ones my group number ones please in their crush what else can you tell us their crush, how do they feel about my group number ones? How does their crush feel about them? Like things have kind of been at a standstill. They might think someone gets attention. I can't tell if it's you or how do they feel about playing group number ones? It's like they want you to know that like being away from you or like periods of time where you guys are not talking or in separation. I don't know. They don't like that. Maybe because of other commitments or other things going on that creates this kind of distance or space. But that Ten of Swords, it's like there is some kind of uh, pain associated with it. Interesting. For some, it's like they try not to worry about you dating or they try not to worry about the attention that you're getting. I think they feel like you get attention and it's like they have to ignore it in order to like self-preservation. For those of you that that resonates, you'll know what I'm talking about. It's like this person, someone here, there's a level, someone's job or someone's position brings them attention. And it's something that they're trying to like, not let them, not, 
get affected by it, but I think they still are because it's coming up in the energy. Why the Hierophant? In that Four of Cups, it's on purpose. Someone's commitment is uh, slowing this down. Wow. Yeah, this person is is uh, planning something during this time apart. Hmm. They're planning returning towards or coming back towards you. And I don't know why I keep saying like coming back or like returning. Because I'm telling you, it kind of feels like you guys are at a disconnect. But they want a new beginning. And it's going to be really unexpected is what it feels like. Because it keeps coming up as a tower. Unexpected reconciliation or unexpected new start. A new start and we're feeling better. Our hearts are open. We emotionally connect, you know. All right, <laughs> let's, um, well, now that we're here, I kind of want to see what their next actions are going to be towards you. Like, I kind of feel like it's going to be hermit for a little bit, but let's see if we can get any, any indicators as to their next actions. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number ones, please. What is their crush's next actions towards them? My group number ones, please. What's their crushes? Next actions towards my group number ones. Thank you. They keep showing up as this emperor. It's like they want to remain in control, which makes me think that this unexpected reconciliation, like I said, it's someone who's already plotting. <laughs> They're plotting their moves. What's their next actions? They're going to keep their distance there, but they are going to give you signs or they're, they are going to give you some kind of indicators before they pop in, whether this is, you notice that they're watching you or they are watching you. This is confirmation. Looking at like pictures or some kind of content, <laughs> maybe through friends or something mutual. They're going to be coming towards you. Also, they're going to be coming towards you in a friendly manner. <laughs> Just saw the fool. Meaning it's almost like olive branch. We have two threes and they were both in reverse. Let's see why. All right. Why the three of wands in reverse? What's their crushes next actions towards them? So it feels like first you guys are going to connect. Um, online or like text or something why the six of pentacles why the page of swords it's like they're gonna feel out the waters they're gonna see like if maybe you'll respond yeah they're not sure and they're kind of so they're gonna message you like hey how are you something like that to see if you're going to respond or not. They're real nervous. For those of you that this is resonating, they're nervous that you're going to reject them or you're going to ignore their message. That's why they're trying to cover it up with, uh, in case you leave them on red, they don't feel super dumb about it. <laughs> So the choice is yours, obviously, my group number ones. We have Cancer. We have that Earth energy showing up, especially Taurus. We have Libra as well and Leo. <clears throat> All right. Let's see. Anything else? Yeah, it's almost like they don't want to push it. So they're just going to, like I said, it's almost like dip their toe in. And you may not be available to them or you may not answer. I am definitely getting that, that some of you may not, and others, you will. Like I said, everyone's situation is different. Let's see what your oracle cards have to say, my group number ones. All right, thank you, Spirit. Let's see, let's use these, and then we'll use the bunny cards. All right. Thank you, Spirit. Messages from my group number ones, please. What can you tell us? 
How is their crush feel about them? How does their crush feel about them? Someone could definitely be a Leo. Very passionate. There's that ghost card. They're going to be returning from the past. So they're becoming aware of certain things. Maybe that's why they're going with the flow and they're not really rushing through this. They, I'm, I'm telling you, maybe they see you as being someone who's with someone else or they see something where it's like you're getting attention and that kind of gets to them. Um, because it, it makes them feel like, I don't know, maybe you're like harder to get to, or they might lose you, or you might go in another direction. We have isolation. You guys are, it definitely feels like you guys are at a distance from this person and we have reflection. You guys are both reflecting a lot about this, um, connection. We have confidence and abundance. This person might wrap up their um, their identity or like their worth in their material world. Um, or maybe they feel like that's important to you or, I mean, come on, it's 2023. So to some degree, I'm sure it's important, but maybe that's what someone is focusing on right now. And then we have ghost, um, that talks about things from the past coming back around, which makes sense because I do feel like you will be hearing from this person. And when you do, just know that there's a lot more of intention behind it than the, hey, what's up? Or how are you? Or whatever they say. Or maybe they send you a meme and you're like, oh. And it's just to test to see if you'll, if you'll respond. All right. We have ears. So definitely, I think you will be hearing from them. It also has the number 14, number 49, thistles. So the other day, um, someone said that um, they help like remove toxic, something like toxic from your liver. And I looked it up and I also read the same thing. So this helps detoxify. So someone here could be detoxifying from something. Um, we have number 32, rabbit feet. This makes me think um, of a lucky streak. This person might be seeing you win or be seeing you get some kind of recognition and it kind of triggers them because maybe they want to be by your side or they want to be, um, they don't want anyone else to come and snatch you up. <laughs> then we have number five, the burrow. So this person is laying low for now. Um, they're in their burrow is what that makes me think. <laughs> um, all right. That's what I have for you, my group number ones. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope it was helpful. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll catch you at the next one. Thanks guys. Hello, my group number twos. If you pick the sticker, then welcome to your reading friends. Today, we're going to be checking in on your crush and how do they feel about you? All right, friends, needless to say, but I will say it anyway. Just a reminder, this is a collective reading on YouTube. So please only take what resonates and leave the rest for someone else. If something confuses you or triggers you, it's probably because it's not your story. So, all right, don't make it fit um, or don't try to, I should say. Let's begin. Thank you, Spirit, for allowing me to channel these messages today for my group number two. Messages for my group number two, please. The person that they came to this reading for, their crush, how does this person feel about my group number twos? What are their thoughts, feelings, and energy towards my group number twos? Thank you, Spirit. What can you tell us? What are their crushes, thoughts, feelings, and energy towards my group number twos? What can you tell us? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number twos. Their crush. What's their crush's thoughts and feelings and energy towards my group number twos? We have the lovers reverse. We have the page of swords in reverse. So it feels like you guys are not together and not talking. Are they feeling towards my group number twos? Two of wands in reverse. Six of cups. They have like fond memories of you, but. And if, uh, if the opportunity came up, I think that they would jump at it to reconnect with you, to talk to you, to, uh, I don't know, hang out with you. Like if they saw you out or if they saw you somewhere. And the reason I say if they saw you somewhere, it's because it almost feels like um, if this is an online connection, 
um, they're not the ones that are thinking or planning of reaching out. That's why it almost feels like if by chance they ran into you. Now, you know, take it how it resonates, but let's see what's going on over here. Because I want to see what this opportunity is. Yeah, it definitely doesn't feel like they're planning anything. But if something were to come up, maybe if someone were to pop in in their inbox, they'd be more than willing to be like, oh, hey. <laughs> Because it feels like they enjoy talking to you or you just remind them of, I don't know, <clears throat> someone that they have fond memories with or someone that they would have been friends with like when they were younger, or kids, or I don't know. It feels like you guys are a youthful little pair. Why the two of wands? in reverse yeah this person isn't planning anything but like I said they're they're open to it but they're not it's not really in on their mind that they want this to the point of uh, making plans and coming towards you interesting <laughs> some of you might kind of I don't know if some of you are like thinking about kind of showing up where this person is at or interesting I'm getting kind of hints of someone kind of is hiding something or is is trying to come up with an excuse or is trying to kind of coordinate a bumping in I'm telling you it almost feels like running into each other and then it's like we both get what we want because I'm telling you, this person is open to it, but they're not they're not like seriously thinking of making any kind of move. Yeah, it would be on you either communicating or reaching out to them. Interesting. They are open to it. Let's see what signs we have. We have Gemini, Cancer, Aries, Aries again. And then, I mean, we have everything. And then we have Aquarius, Libra, Gemini showing up with this Queen of Swords. Hmm. All right, let's continue. It doesn't feel like much has happened in this connection for a while or for a little while. But like I said, it looks like someone's open to... <laughs> they are it looks like they're open to reconnecting or yeah it just feels like a, a refreshed energy so it feels like it's a reconnection all right thank you spirit messages for my group number twos please how's their crush feeling how does their crush feel about my group number did i call you group threes i meant group twos my group twos. <laughs> How does their crush feel about them? Thanks, sir. You guys know when I do that. I literally do not even realize it. All right. Thank you, spirit. How does their crush feel about them? My group number threes, please. Oh, my God. And then I keep calling you guys group number threes. That was a mistake. <laughs> Unless you guys feel like there's another pile calling your name besides me influencing that <laughs> all right how does my group choose person their crush feel about them there we go they're not really uh, like they're not focused on um they're not focused on like you and I'm sorry, my group number twos, but it doesn't seem like you're their main character, but you're welcome into their energy is what it feels like. Maybe there's a work connection or friends or community or something like that. That's going to be like bringing you together. Cause again, it feels like there's an outside factor influencing this. How do they feel about my group twos, please? There's a, this person could be at a distance or there's like travel involved. Maybe for some of you guys work with this person. 
and you guys are going on like some kind of retreat or travel or something. Or the tower reverse. Why the hermit in reverse? Yeah, it feels like they're just focused on what they're doing. They're focused on their their position, their money, what they have going on, the travel plans. And it doesn't really feel like you're on their radar. But like I said, it feels like if you do reconnect or when you do reconnect, um, the vibes are there. And they seem cool with that. But when it comes to them like having feelings towards you or them making plans towards you, I don't really think it's there yet. There's something about you that doesn't make them feel either like they can or they don't know. They're just like, Ugh. <laughs> they know that they like enjoy talking to you or like your interactions. Um, but they're not trying to really do anything about it. This person kind of acts aloof. They might act dumb. They might know that you like them. That could be the other energy too that's coming through because they seem like they're just like, nope. All right, my group twos. Let's see. We have Virgo, we have um, Taurus, lots of Earth coming through. But again, it could be a work connection for some of you. We have Pisces and um, what was that? <laughs> Aries, that's it. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Spirit, for these messages for my group twos. My group twos, please. What else can you tell us? What else can you tell us? about their crush how does their crush feel how does their crush feel about that for some of you this might be your boss or a boss so that's what they're trying to do work up to how does my group number two's crush feel about that what can you tell us they keep showing up as the fool Maybe they are aloof to this. Why the Ace of Coins? And even if they're not aloof, it's like, yeah, they're choosing not to. It's like they kind of see it and they're okay. Like I said, it's almost like they're playing aloof. They might be, some of them might be kind of like playing like they don't notice. But it feels like they're purposely kind of staying away in that regard. There is a reconnection here that I see, but there's also a need to keep at a distance. Meaning, like I said, I think you are welcome in their energy and they enjoy talking to you, but it doesn't look like they have plans to take it anywhere past that for some reason. It could be they're not available, you're not available, the job thing, or maybe they're just. I don't know, not like interested. <laughs> the group two is, I'm sorry to put it that way, but you know what I mean. Um, it could be a variety of reasons. For some of you, I definitely think position has something to do with it. Um, all right, my group twos, let's get some Oracle cards for you guys. If you guys are still here. <laughs> Thank you, Spirit, for these messages from my group twos. My group twos, please, what can you tell us? How does our crush feel about them? Determination, trust. Anxiety. All right. Happiness, frustration. Yeah, because it seems like maybe this person keeps you at a certain like distance. It's kind of what it feels like. Maybe they keep you wanting more. They're not like... We have happiness. Again, I do think there is connection here um, with that six of cups. We have cleanse, surrender, and anxiety. Someone gets anxious and frustrated over this. Um, maybe you make them nervous. 
maybe maybe they feel some of them that because of their position they don't want people to think something i don't know for some of you <laughs> we have cleanse someone's trying to clear their energy or go with the flow surrendering that could be you all right messages for my group twos please we have rain fast dog and fragrant field maybe this person kind of like ran from you a little bit or ran from this maybe someone here with the fragrant field has um, a perfume that they wear <laughs> maybe you thought you smelled them and you turned around and they weren't there that was dramatic all right, my group twos, that's what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope it was helpful. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'll catch you at the next one. Thanks, guys. Hello, my group number three. If you pick the sticker, then welcome to your reading, friends. Let's go ahead and put this little witch right over here. And let me begin by reminding you that this is a collective reading on YouTube. So if something doesn't, you know, sound like it's your story, or if something triggers you, if you're just confused by it it's probably because it's not your story so it's okay you can either pick another group or we'll just catch you at the next reading all right let's begin friends today we're going to be looking into how does your crush feel about you all right let's get to it thank you spirit for allowing me to channel these messages today for my group number threes my group number threes please how does their crush feel about my group number threes what is this person's thoughts, feelings, and energy towards my group number threes, please? What's this person's thoughts? They're viewing your connection differently. We're going to pull this. We're going to see what it is that they're viewing. Maybe they're... Uh, trying to release something toxic or your your connection has allowed them to see something differently when it comes to relationships hmm. they've come to some kind of realization when it comes to your connection let's put it that way thank you spirit what's my group number three's crushes thoughts feelings and energy towards my group number threes we're gonna pull that what's their Oh, you came in and you showed them Wow, you highlighted something for them. They're interesting for some of you. It's like they're seeing like, like what a beautiful person like you like can accomplish or like how your essence, your energy, your presence is like life changing. It's grounding. It's balancing. I mean, this person is like literally putting you up in the stars, almost like fireworks. If I had to guess, this person definitely putting it, minimizing it would be saying they have a crush on you. But um, the reality is there's something life-changing that they view here when it comes to whatever's going on here or whatever has happened between you guys. All right, why the hanged one in reverse, please? You could have highlighted how they were being held back in their life or where they've been holding back. Oh, we dropped one. Hold on. Hold on, kids. All right. You guys aren't going to believe it. I literally couldn't find it. I had to get down under my table. And this card was hiding. And look what it was. The Ten of Cups. So look, this is wild. What in the not just a crush is happening here? Because it literally feels like there's family, there's children, there's like, uh, there's growth, there's all this stuff that you're just, I don't know if you're inspiring or influencing them. Or maybe that's just how they view you. I mean, I definitely know that that's how they view you going from the energy. But um, I mean, the direct feelings that they have for you. That's what I mean. Um, this person might also low key be wondering what you could see in someone like them. 
they see future with you. And even if they haven't come to that realization, it's almost like you're showing them what's possible and it's starting to awaken them. Yeah, this person has so many feelings for you. Where the tower? What is it? Oh, things unexpectedly take off between you guys. It's gotten hot and heavy or it's gotten, there's been something, there's been a spark, there's been something that's happened to, between you guys and then a pulling back. And there's an energy here of them knowing that once they like come towards you or once they fully come towards your way, that kind of changes everything. We have the justice card. So there could be children involved. But more than anything, I feel like there's a lot of opportunity for growth here and they see that. They see like endless potential with you. They feel like with you, their life would be very balanced or you guys balance each other out well or that things could be fair here, that you guys want the same things or you guys prioritize, your guys is prioritize the same things or your priorities are similar. Why the Knight of Swords? So it's like some of you guys could be entrepreneurs and or like the way you work together, the way you think. It's it might be opposites, but it's definitely like compatible. All right, we have a knight of wands or a king of wands, I mean. King of wands in reverse. We have the star card and the high priestess in reverse. This person has a hard time trusting themselves. They have self-doubt. They don't think very highly of themselves sometimes is what it feels like. And I'm telling you, they see you and they're like, why would someone like group number three want to be with someone like me? There could be a slight age difference between you guys. And there's been a lot of up in the air between you. But this person, from what I see, they view you in a high regard. They view you as almost like the the perfect the perfect partner, the perfect like if you're a mother, if you're kind of independent. I mean, you're definitely independent. They just feel like you just have so much to give, and they feel that because of that, you attract certain things into your life, and then that leads into kind of a spiral, or that leads into kind of like a come back around of, well, what, what does group number three see in me? Why me? This person's a little stubborn and they also isolate or they create distance because they don't trust that things could be reciprocated here. They don't think that you could possibly see them in this light or see them in this way. Maybe some of you have told them that you do, but for those that haven't, this person just doesn't see it. When they come towards you, they tend to come towards you, maybe really flirty or really like sexual or real like, I don't know, it's all fun or surface level. But in reality, they're afraid to go deeper. Interesting. It's almost like they don't want this illusion to shatter. Because I think you give them hope or you give them something to like look forward to. Oh my gosh. We have Aquarius, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, Libra, Cancer. But we have all the signs showing up. Those are just the, the majors. Yeah, because we have fire, we have water, we have air. <laughs> all right, <clears throat> let's continue my group number threes. What in the tortured love soul is that about? <laughs> Who is this person? As I just started hearing that emo meme song. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number threes, please. What are their person's feelings towards them? So we see how they view you. Let's see how they feel about you. Thank you, Spirit. What's my group? Number three's crushes feelings towards my group number three. 
How does this person feel about my group number threes? How does this person feel? They have a lot of fun with you. They love like the flirtiness or the playfulness between you guys. They feel like you guys bring that out in each other because maybe you guys have serious roles or you guys have a lot going on adulting <laughs> but when you guys get together it's like you guys could be silly in a fun way how does their crush feel about them messages for my group number threes they're very clear on things that need to change or things that they need to better in order to head in a better direction or things in their life need to kind of calm down how do they feel about my group Number three is they could have also seen you kind of make changes in your life. It's like they see you. This person has been observing you, I feel like, for a while. We have Ace of Wands wanting a new beginning. There's also a lot of passion. And then here's their little crush. It, they present as a page, but it feels like the intensity of it or the thoughts of you are more than a page. So, again, maybe there's an age difference and they don't really know how to express themselves maybe they don't even realize how deep their feelings run or they do and they just don't don't understand it we have the magician all right what are they trying to make happen they're going to try to make something happen what's their feelings they're trying to come towards you they're realizing things in their life that need to change. Again, it's almost like this feeling of what would need to change in order to grow. They're also recognizing how they weren't taking full advantage of situations in the past or just making the best of things or the most of things. They're working on healing and getting ready for a new beginning. There's a lot of past energy that this person is acknowledging that they need to clear. And they know that they haven't really been upfront with how they feel, but they want to come together with you. That lover's card is also about choices. <clears throat> this person making a choice, but wanting to come together. So making the choice to come together. And that magician tells me that they're going to be plotting or they're going to be making it happen. It is going to take some time because again, they're regretful over the amount of time that it's taken or the distance that's been happening or that has happened again there's this feeling of moving on from something what else please uh, they're working on something that's been keeping them away maybe they travel or they're just they're showing up as emperor in reverse but king of cups upright so they're giving to the things that they need to right now but that's also kind of keeping them out in the cold or keeping them away from, from you. All right. I'm kind of feeling this person has, I'm getting confirmation right now. This person has every intention to have some kind of reunion and a new beginning with you. So since we made it this far, let's look into their next actions towards you. My group number threes <clears throat> each group has been totally different all right thank you spirit my group number threes please what's their crushes next actions towards them what's their crushes next actions towards my group number threes please what can you tell us messages for my group number threes what's their crushes next actions towards them What's their crush's next actions towards them? Looks like they're trying to put the effort into something. We'll see what that is. What's their crush's next actions towards my group number three, please? <laughs> the effort towards you. Yeah, it feels like they're trying to come towards you. Hold on. How do they do this? There's some things that are out of their control. And it feels like they would have to come towards you because you're not, you're not chasing them. You're not coming towards them. Good. <laughs> My group number three is good. <clears throat> What's their crushes? 
next actions towards my group number threes, please. Too many. That's their crushes. Oh my gosh. They're trying to get out of this place of feeling stuck. They've, they're taking their time or something has taken longer. Might be because of work or family. Look at this. They're going to be spending some kind of time or investing some kind of time in making this happen. This person has every intention to return back to you. They're leaving behind thoughts that were kind of keeping them trapped or they're moving past that. They're heading towards you for reconciliation, for a new beginning. All right. Well, my group number threes. Yes, there's something relating to family or work that they are moving past. It's been a burden. This person may have been working a lot or I don't know. It feels like they're waiting for a minute where they're alone or they're free and it feels like that's when they're going to come towards you. We have Gemini, Aries, Pisces, Taurus, and Libra coming through. Wow, this person wants you. <laughs> Nopos, wow, that's what it feels like. All right, my group number three. So let's get some oracle cards to close out your reading, my friends. Thank you, Spirit, for allowing me to channel these messages for my group number three. Messages for my group number three, please. What can you tell us about their crush? Creativity, growth. Someone here is working on their abundance. Maybe this situation has been stop and go. This person could isolate or someone does. You guys kind of buzz off of each other's energy. It does feel like you guys buzz. Someone here is working on their growth. Maybe you guys both are. You guys are both growing individually, which is really nice. Stop, isolate. This feels like it's something that might be repetitive or something that um, is currently happening. I do feel there's about to be a shift with that. We have ghosts, like I said, something returning from the past and energy. Maybe even, um, even though you can't see it in the 3D, it's like, you're like, no, but I feel it. I know that they're going to pop up or I know that they feel the same or I know they, you know, it's like sometimes we just know these things. All right, let's get you some carrot cards. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number threes. All right, we have number one, apples, which makes me think of harvest, which is like right now, harvest time. Something could be changing. Also with that Scorpio energy, we are currently in Scorpio season. So maybe um, you guys might be reconnecting with this person during Scorpio season. We have the many rabbits. Someone could wear many hats or have many things going on. Also makes me think of children, but also there's a lot of fertile energy between you guys. So just keep that in mind, depending on how close you let this person in. My group number threes. We have the hoe. Someone I feel is like getting their foundation ready or working on some kind of foundation. It, I kind of feel like there's going to be a lot of growth between now and springtime as well, because this makes me think that we're getting the ground ready. Um, and then we are talking about harvest. So something has to go from beginning to maturity. And maybe this is where you guys are at. Someone's laying down groundwork. Then we have number 35. Oops, I just knocked into the light. Number 35, rain. So someone here could have been struggling. Maybe this person, when they struggle, they kind of isolate with that isolation and stop. Maybe you'll reconnect with them when it's raining. I don't know. We'll leave it at that. All right, my group number three. That's what I have for you today. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'll catch you the next one. Thanks, guys.